Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Leopard Cat, where we are fun, sexy, fearless, independent, and always opinionated. As you can tell by the title, this is my year-end video that I used to do on my other channel, but I think I stopped like three, two years ago, um, and I'm doing a year-end video about the best moments and just like the biggest moments from 2018, because it is New Year's Eve. I um, had so much fun yesterday. I was out and about a lot. Um, hometown of Detroit at Motor City Casino and I was just having so much fun so um, I couldn't do it yesterday so I just wanted to do it today uh, so let's get into it. I got some notes and I might even do either in this video or my next video what I'm looking forward to doing as far as me myself or just what i'm looking forward to in 2019 as far as entertainment and you know just everything so i might put that in this video maybe we'll see bay cella that was probably the biggest moment i want to say the probably the most googled moment uh bay cella beyonce killed it at coachella Oh my God, like that was an epic moment for her. I'm so glad that she canceled last year and um, did did it this year because she just had so much more time to prepare for it. And, you know, I love how she had the black um, sorority there and the, the all the um, homage to all the black um, fraternities and everything, colleges. And, you know, it was just really nice to see that she had the time to do that. She looked great doing it. She killed it. Um, I don't have a particular favorite moment. Um, I love what she did. Um, I love what she did. Crazy in Love, of course, with the band. And I love what she did, Baby Boy. She brought out, brought out the big girls doing that. So that was good. Uh, Destiny's Child, that moment was great. They got to do, do another tour. I don't need an album. I don't need a single. I just need a tour. Just please do another tour. The last tour they did was... 2005 and they didn't even come to michigan so please do another tour um so that was another moment megan markle and harry getting married i did an article about this um for deliberate magazine magazine i work for and oh it was just one of the biggest moments it was beautiful um she looked great even though the dress was a little understated for me i was so happy that she, you know, she just inspires so many people who are from different backgrounds, different race, and show that hey, you could be a princess, you can marry a prince. All the naysayers who were like, oh, they're just gonna date and he's gonna move on. She was just like, no, he wanted me, he married me, he loves me, and we're gonna be together. The Queen of England supports it and gave me her okay. And I'm Meghan Markle. I came here, and her family who tried to be so nasty with it. She proved all them wrong, and she just came to just inspire everybody. The wedding was beautiful. Um, I would love to be at the reception with Georgia Clooney and everybody, but, you know, it was it was great. I see that. Um, so happy for them. And I knew it. I said, she's going to be pregnant. And this is what I said before the years. And I said, if she isn't already, I said that before she got married, what, during the wedding, and after the wedding, I said, she's not pregnant now. She will be very soon. And she's pregnant. And I just can't wait for the baby to come in March or April, right around spring. I can't wait. Hopefully, she's having a girl. And I hope that it's going to be named after Diana. I think that would be really, really nice. So, looking forward to that. Congratulations to both of them. And uh, keep slaying them, girl. You know you're going down in history. Black Panther opened up and broke so many freaking records. It was just such a good, a good movie for superheroes. Whether you were black, white, or whatever, you just love to be a part of it. You know, it was just great to let everybody know, hey, you're black. You could be represented in a positive light as a black man. You know, we're superheroes. We're, we're the biggest superheroes because we literally take the worst situations and turn them into the best like we literally are one of those people that continue to thrive and do best and don't let anything break us that's what a superhero is so for us to not be represented was horrible i'm so glad that black panther just broke all the barriers and 
just show that black the black community can come together and we can be represented positively and we need more movies like this. So I thought that was good. Roseanne Barr got herself in trouble and cost so many people their jobs by saying a racist tweet and not thinking anything of it. Now she got got fired and, and the show got canceled and it was just really sad because a lot of people haven't even eaten since the Roseanne show ended. And for it to be back, it put a lot of money in people's pockets and for her to just can't let it get canceled like that because of her stupid tweet. Oh my God. So sad. But you know, you, you just, you can't say what you want to anymore. You definitely can't say nasty, negative things about black people. We don't want that crap. Like we ain't taking that mess no more. Okay. And so, um, that was not right. Maybe she'll finally keep her mouth closed. Having an opinion is an opinion, but don't be putting it on a public display like Twitter. Expecting good to come from that. So sad to hear about Kate freaking Spade and Anthony Bourdain. Both committed suicide. Both committed suicide. I can't believe that. It's just really sad how how people can have so much fame and money. And, and you know, it can't buy happiness, but it's like whatever you have, don't think that you can just kill yourself it's not worth it you can't do anything about your problem when you're dead it's just not it's not worth it you know and i think that's just so sad you know i, I don't know you got to be strong you got to have faith and when you commit suicide and stuff like that you don't really have faith i'm sorry let's move as um was accused of sexual harassment that is the ceo of cbs network and julie chin's husband from the talk who always is the best dress on the talk i love that show and she literally was just like i stand by my husband forever and always you know how i feel about that and that's all i'm saying you know and she ended up leaving the show you know she left the show and just gave it to them and told them that you know I think you guys can do good. You know, I love you all. I'm always going to be there for you. But I need to move on. I need to spend time with my family right now. And, you know, I can't really blame her for it. Because every time a new news story about the talk, they have to talk about it. They have to show. They have to the report on it. And she has to give her opinion on it. That's what they do. They can't just overlook it. Because it's about her husband. And it's about, you know, sex. It's not, it's, um. That's something she wants to really talk about. You know, they have to talk about it. And they can't just overlook it because he's the CEO. So, um, I get that. But, you know, now she's thinking about leaving her husband because she questions whether or not he was ever faithful to her. You know, and all the women on that show have been through it with their spouses. Started with Aisha Tyler, who addressed her husband, uh, divorcing her. And then you got uh, Cheryl Osborne, whose husband cheated on her. And she had a, mel a meltdown and breakdown moment where she had to be off for weeks. You know, and now you got, well, I think the other girl, Cheryl Underwood, her husband committed suicide. So it's just like, you know, everybody's going through stuff. And now Julie Chen and, you know, the girl uh, from Roseanne, she's the only one whose spouse, you know, seemed to be doing okay. You know, but, the, you know, no relationship is perfect. They've all been through it. So I feel for it. I, I, my heart goes out to them. Aretha Franklin, the queen of soul, died. So freaking sad. I just want to have a moment of silence. Okay, it's just sad, you know, may she rest in peace. I think what really messed up was that Aretha Franklin knew she had pancreatic cancer and went and got surgery to lose weight. And that's what caused her to have even more complications and caused her death because she wouldn't get treatment for it, you know. And she wanted to go ahead and do the surgery against the doctor's orders, What you know. 
So that was really sad. Colin Kaepernick continues to take a knee, positively protesting and being paid for. Like, pe people don't want to um, recruit him as a NBA, NFL player. And it's just like, uh, he's not going around burning down buildings. He's not going around, you know, shooting people up. He's positively protesting. And I don't feel like he should ever be paying for that. I'm sorry. Like, I, I, I understand why they're taking a knee. I really do. So the fact that he's, you know, not being, you know, recruited by a team is really irritating to me. But anyway, that was my video. Um, I'm going to do another video um, next year, which will be in a few hours, just talking about um, what I'm expecting and what I'm looking forward to in my personal life and entertainment life for 2019. And I'll see you in my next video. I want you to thumbs up this video. I want you to subscribe. Click the notification bell. Click it because I don't want you to miss any videos I'm going to put up. And I will see you in my next video. I'll see you next year. Let me know what you're doing for 2019. Let me know what you're doing for the New Year's. Um, about my grandma's smokeless grill. And we cooked turkey burgers on it yesterday. I made them homemade. They're so good. Um, we're doing steaks and chicken. I think she's doing greens and macaroni and cheese and candy yams. I will be doing a... Um, not video, but a Instagram shot of it, hopefully. And I will be putting it on my Instagram. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at that Virgo Vixen. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.